Hello, thank you so much for joining me. I've had quite a few people ask recently about strategies to use for anxiety and I have spoken about it quite recently but I can't remember if I included this one. I, I will repeat it because it is a really helpful one and there's one that I hadn't included so I'll go on to that. The first is five to one. So it's using all of your senses. So we begin with what you can see using your vision. So purple flower, white flower, green leaves, blue container, black chair. That's the easy one. Four things that you can touch. Different green leaf. A smooth green leaf, a rusty top of a container, my trousers. So that's vision and touch. What you can hear, the aeroplane. Good time, thank you. The birds, and for once when I say that the pigeons aren't doing a squawk immediately afterwards. Um, right, I've got to weigh up now and listen carefully. I can hear talking from next door. So that was refocusing my attention. Some were obvious, but others you had to focus on. And when you're focusing on that, you're not focusing on your anxiety. Two things that you can smell. The flower, not that it's got much of a scent, and another flower, but you might have to be a bit inventive of that. Have you got perfume on? And you smell shower gel, whatever. And the last one, one thing that you can taste. People say, I can't taste anything. Again, you have to focus. What can I taste? Tea. I had a cup of tea just before I recorded this. You can do it. And if you're stuck, have a lick of your skin. Don't lick anything around you. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. So that's five to one. And you can do it another time and another time. And I know it works because I've seen people who've handed the technique on to others because it had worked so well for them. But the next one, <laughs> okay, it's ditzy time. Um, <laughs> I have used for quite a long time a way of helping my anxiety. I'll do it in the house, if I'm out, if I'm going on my way to a dentist or a medical appointment or something if I'm going somewhere that I'm a bit apprehensive about. And it's using poetry. And no, I don't have poems on my headset or in my car. I'm making it up. Now, children respond well to rhyme. I can remember bouncing my son on the manier going, diddle, diddle, dumpling, my son John, not that he's called John, went to bed with his trousers on distracted from whatever the problem was. Um, I don't suggest you get somebody to bounce you up and down on your knee. If you like, you could, but that's your choice. So it's just making rhyming couplets. Okay, uh, I can see, I can see Mishka the cat. He's looking very fat. Duh. The little words are easy to rhyme, but do be careful with some. Uh, consider the, the things that go quack and what you might find to rhyme with that. It doesn't matter. You can say it in your head or you can say it out loud. And you might start off quite slowly. So I've got the, I can see my cat. He's looking very fat. 
that's because he's just been eating and now he's going to be seating. Okay, it's rubbish, but it rhymes. You're not aiming for a poet laureate here. You're just aiming to get your mind fully focused. And I can keep it going for ages. And I, I will often start by, oh, looking at a flower. A flower is very white. I think it's all right. It's not wilting yet. It will soon, I bet. <laughs> okay. But the better you get at it, you can go more quickly and you can do it in time to steps. So you're walking and you're thinking, if there's nobody around, say it out loud. I'll sometimes either sing it in my head to something like Diddle Diddle Dumpling or a nursery rhyme tune, just a basic tune. If I'm in the middle of a field, I'll belt it out full volume and it really doesn't matter but it gets that angst out as well as diverting your mind. So, as I say, it sounds a bit ditzy. Have a go. Don't knock it until you've tried it. And as I say, you'll have to make up some words and it really does not matter. It can probably make you think, oh, <laughs> why did I say that? And giggles are always good. Giggles are a good way of helping to relieve some of those anxious feelings. So on that note, I am going to go get off my chair, go inside and brush my hair. Then I'll have a cup of tea. Then I'm going to have, I'll let you finish that one off. I back myself down a, a, one, a cul-de-sac there, didn't I? So. Okay, story of my life. Thank you for joining me. Um, come back next time if you dare. <laughs> no, it's been lovely to have you around and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.